Okay, so now for the contact page. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna keep this uh, same page open. I'm gonna do a save as, and I'm just gonna change this to contact. Uh, doing save as keeps the old version and uh, creates a new one um, that we can work from. So um, let's delete all of this in the pagination. Actually, let's just go into layers, delete the articles and the pagination. Uh, we'll keep everything else for now. So if we go back to our mid fidelity wireframes, uh, we just have the inputs and the submit button. So one thing I would like to do actually is uh, keep this banner uh, so it's consistent throughout the various pages. So let's just change the title and call this, uh, just say, say hello, exclamation point. Then let's center it. There we go. All right, so let's just uh, make a shape, grab the rectangle tool, bring up the guides. And create a shape like so. And then let's uh, change the fill in the properties panel. Uh, no fill and let's do the light gray color that looks good and it has three points here let's change that to two maybe there we go that looks better this could probably actually be slightly darker actually no that looks good so we're going to put less emphasis on the actual input and more on the Let's just change this to name and it shouldn't be all caps. So let's uh, remove that. That looks good. Then let's select it and duplicate these. Give it a good amount of spacing. Let me zoom in a bit more. And let's say email. And then let's do it one last time for, make sure the spacing is even. And we'll just say message. And the only difference between this one is this is going to be text area. So it's by default going to be a lot bigger. So that looks pretty good. The only thing we need now is a um, button. So we can just grab these two and duplicate it. And what I'll do is I'll just center this and I'll say send message. And then let's, uh, Make it even on all sides, drop it down a bit to make it spaced correctly. And that looks pretty good. Uh, let me bring up the footer to match the others. And then crop the page. Beautiful. Um, this should probably actually be a bit darker. So what I will do is let me find a color Select that. Now I'm going to select the rectangle and go into the panel. There we go. That's a bit darker. So I'll do the same for the others as well. Select this. Boom. And same for the button. There we go. So it's slightly darker. Beautiful. So let's save that. So we don't really need anything uh, more than this. We could add a little text box uh, explaining what to do, uh, but I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. So um, I'm going to just leave it as is. And then if we get into the code and want to change things, we can always add it and style it then. Uh, before we move on to the next video, let's uh, just clean up the layers panel. Um, select these two, group it, say name, input, do the same for this, email input, message, text, area, and let's stack them correctly. All right, and say send message button. And these are in the header, so let's bring those out of that and into 
Well, it should be above the footer, but it's in the footer now. Whoops. I'm holding uh, shift and clicking to the top to select multiple. And let's bring it above the footer. There we go. But now it's in the banner. Let's get out of that. Let's just bring it to the top. Okay, let's close the header. Get the banner out of there too. Close the header, close the banner. All right, now let's group all of these and call this a contact form. And drop that below the banner. There we go. So let's save that. All right, and in the next video, we're gonna start coding the front end of our homepage.